Hi, I'm Cheryl Rowling, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Ontario, Canada. And today, we will be making this congratulations card. But I'm going to turn it into a thank you card. We will need a card base with a Whisper White. Goodness, I'm having problems with picking things up today. This is eight and a half by five and a half, and it's scored at four and a quarter. This is five and a quarter by four, and it's your inside. The petal pink is five and three eighths by four and one eighth. This is gray granite, and it is four and a quarter, five, or excuse me, five and a quarter by four. And this it garden designer series paper, and it is five and a quarter and a quarter by three and then you need white and I ran this through the this die it's called stitch lace dies and it has the edge and you just go around after you cut it out and you cut both sides out and you have that and this is three quarter inches wide by approximately three inches long I took two pieces of the designer series paper and they're five and a quarter or no five and three eight no five and quarter I was right five and a quarter by a quarter each and that there's two of those and this is the metallic lace edge ribbon isn't that gorgeous ribbon and you will need an eight inch piece and a seven inch piece the Daisy Lane stamp set and if you want to do congratulations it's from the peaceful moments or if you want to do a thank you it's fine from the timeless tropical and the gray granite has been run through the dainty diamond 3d embossing folder already and I use the Daisy punch and the medium Daisy punch get the card and we need pretty pink ink and gray granite ink okay with I think well you need pearls and a few other accessories but there everything's listed below so if you need don't worry about what everything is you can uh, just go below when this posts and you'll find it now we're going to do, we're going to stamp the thank you. And you push and pop and slide just like a compact case. And then you try to get this out in the middle towards the, but more towards probably this end would be better. Gives you a little bit of wiggle room for the, oh, and I forgot. You need the banners take a pick tool or punch and then you slide this in and you go down to the bottom and then you make sure it's in the middle and then you punch it and it comes out like that and we'll put that aside Goodness sake, Cheryl. You had it right here. Nope. It's not here. Whatever. I got another one. It's just paper. White paper. And then you will stamp that. And you will need two of the small daisy and two of the large daisy. And then you will line this up. 
try to get it in the center. It does fit. It just takes a couple minutes to line it up. There we go. And what I did is I put it in here. I've already got one done. But anyways, and this is my Frosh and Cane Shimmer Mist. A few drops I put into the bottle. Like you just need a spray bottle. You can buy them uh, through Stampin' Up or whatever. You might have one at home. And then I filled this with alcohol, 70%. It must be 70% at least. And then you just put a few drops in it till that it has a shimmer. You shake it up and then you spray it. And then you have to let it dry. And I put this in so it protects and doesn't go all over. And once you've got that done, you wait for it to dry. And then you hang on to those petals and just go to the edge and pull it through. I did this beforehand. There's two of the large ones together and this is the small one and I just need a glue dot for this last one. And then you line it up. I line the uh, second one in between. They went in between. And then the third one was lined up with the first one, and the last one is lined up with the second one. And now, someplace, I have a gray granite circle that goes in the center. And I just have it, just like my paper. Ah, there's my paper. I knew I had it, there it is. And this, we just, center just like that push it down and then you've got that shimmer mist over top of it and it gives it a nice sparkle so I'll clear up the mess here and be able to do something okay now My silicone mat, use it all the time, it's great. Now I'm using my liquid glue. Liquid glue works best with uh, the embossed images because they're up and down and the liquid glue has uh, goes into the crevices a little bit better than some of the other glues do. And then you can just put them together and they stick really well. Now, it, both ends are the same, like it, there's not, um, it's not shorter, the gray is not shorter, it's all lined up, because that's what I wanted. Now, I'm just going to press this and get it, the glue working and on there. And then, this is the designer series paper, it's a gorgeous paper. And it's three inches wide so it gives you a little bit of more color more depth to your cards I'm having problems picking up things today and getting glue all over myself This is that uh, die that is cut. You cut it the lengthwise, so you get two actually out of one whole die when you run it through. 
if you want to. You don't have to, but that's what I did because that's I needed more than one, so it works out best for me that way. And there's still a thing caught in there. Apparently I didn't go through these and get them all out. I thought I had. Here we go. A lot of this will be covered up so it doesn't really matter, but What I should have done is the adhesive strips that um, Stampin' Up! sells and put this on the back and then run it through the die cut. But me being Cheryl, I forgot all about it. So we're doing an easy trick. And we're pouncing it. This is just a sponge cut in an eight, uh, eight pieces, I think. I think it's eight. I can't remember. And then I just pounce it on the back of that. And then I bring it here. And this is a little bit more than I need. So I will have some over the edge at both ends. And I try to get it in the center figured that was easier than doing it when I was doing the die cut and then I'll set that aside let it dry and then I can cut this off easily when this dries you just start rolling it up there's a few dry spots here and it will roll up but you can see it now I've got more glue in my hands but it literally just rolls off there it makes it so easy to uh, clean it up I'm just going to cut this edge off, stick that in the garbage, make sure it's down, cut this off, and then I'm going to burnish the back of it and make sure that it's all down. not lost for good. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking my stamp and seal and I'm running it along the edge here. There. And I will put it on my silicone mat so it doesn't stick anything then I'll place this along here as best I can to where I want it and then I will just wrap this around and it's on and now there's more on each side but that's okay because I'm going to stick it onto the card back so that works really well to put on my daisy with my <laughs> glue dots. <laughs> Can anybody? There we are. I'm losing everything today. Sorry about that, guys. And I'm putting um, two glue dots on here and straddling the ribbon. I put one up here and one here, so it's not on the ribbon. And what you can do is actually take your ribbon and lift it up. Oopsie. And put a glue dot underneath there, and then it will stay in place. But you don't have to because you're gonna put other stuff on here, and it's pretty, it's pretty good about staying right there. So I'm going to glue, glue this.
this. Why, well, hopefully, I will find my thank you. There it is. When I was showing everybody what I was doing, I kind of made a mess when I was putting things away. I was going to glue these strips down and do for the center. So we're just going to oops, grab a hold of it. And I'm just going to put one at the top and one at the bottom just for a little bit of something, some kind of decoration on the inside. And then it ties the card together. And do this again. side of the card so easy peasy there we go now we're just gonna since this is there's a little bit of glue from the other what I did there when I glued the ribbon on. So I'm just going to go around it and make sure this is correct. Yep, it's correct. It opens there. And then attach this. There we go. I hope that we're where we're supposed to be <laughs> and then I'm putting the thank you and I'm doing that with blue dots which are right here yay I found them on a roll and it always has a bend so I always put the bend coming towards me I don't know I just find it works easier uh, for me and then I straighten it up grab a hold back there and tie a knot in it and then I really pull it tightly and once I get it tight then I start pulling these down so that they I want them down below the bow and I'm going to take well I have my tweezers here so that will work and if I just roll this into a ball it doesn't work as well as the paper piercer or my scissors but it works and then I just stick it back here with the ribbon on it are for the ribbon. It just makes uh, cutting easier because I find that paper dulls the scissors. And now we're just going to take my picture and I'll put on the pearls. Yeah, I will. There we go. And I put one there and put one here 
here and put one there. And hopefully that's it. And I've got everything. And if I missed anything, I'm sorry. Oh yes, I am going to do the envelope. And I'm to, this is for Evergreenery and I'm going to do it in uh, the gray granite. There. So I have my finished card. Put this away. I would like to thank everybody for watching and if you could like and subscribe or touch the notification button whatever uh, avenue you're watching this on I would really appreciate it thank you very much see you next time bye now